everyone this is Ross and in today's video I kind of want to show you guys a couple trees that are doing really well and I want to show you the shape this is um, believe it or not my Col de Dom Blanc that's in a 15 gallon size container last year it was in a 40 gallon size container and we root pruned this in the fall if you guys remember we actually did it over there on a tarp we split up some of the trunks on some of the 40 gallon size trees because the 40 gallons or the 30 gallons, whatever they were in, was just too, too big. I couldn't store them for the winter time. And we took like trees like our raspberry latte here and actually split them in half and made two 15 gallon size trees. Same thing with the LSU Tiger. We have one here and the other half of it is actually over here. But that aside, this tree has looked incredible. Even after root pruning it, um, we did do a really heavy pruning last year when we had received this tree. You can see there was a big cut here almost. I'm sorry, actually the big cuts are down here as well as along here. And we really sacrificed the fruit, the amount of fruit last year to get ourselves a super structure for this year. And it's putting out a lot of branches that was really all due to the greenhouse. Also the weather that we've been having here. Um, I really played around with the numbers in the greenhouse and got them perfect. And you can see this is really what a mature tree, a mature fig tree in a 15 gallon size pot looks like is that this is what we want. This is what we want our trees to look like. Actually, if this was my tree from the beginning, I had actually uh, received this tree from a friend, but if I had received this from the beginning, all this branching here would just be a bit higher because the branching starts a bit lower, but inevitably this is the same goal. It's the same objective, the same look, uh, because now I've turned this into what I wanted. And you can see there's all these branches here that have formed this year. If I count them all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's thirteen new strong branches. There's also a fourteenth down here, but I decided to pinch off the tip to stop this particular branch from growing. Why did I do that? Well, I wanted to make sure because this is in a 15 gallon size pot. I wanted to have the appropriate number of fruiting branches so that this tree very, very soon, I'm talking about in the next two weeks, is going to be covered in figs because if you look actually over here, you can see figs that are actually already forming. Because we had pinched this tree about 10 days ago, you can see we've done it over here. These trees were in the greenhouse. This one was in the greenhouse. We've been adjusting it for about four or five days. Then we brought this one on the patio. It's only been on the patio for about five days now. And this tree, seriously, will be covered head to toe from the top, from the bottom of these branches to the top of the branches in fruit. And I can actually count out and get a really good accurate number of fruit off of, these, off of this tree. I can count every single node. I can count every single leaf and I have a pretty good shot at getting a fig almost at every single leaf, which makes me think that because we have 13 new branches and each branch has about, I would say each branch on average is gonna have about four figs on it, 13 times four, you know, that's pretty good. We're over 50 there. And I know 50 is not really the most amount of fruits, the, the most amazing amount of fruits, I should say, from only a 15 gallon size pot. This thing has taken up, I mean, a pretty decent amount of space in the patio. It's about three feet wide in diameter all the way around. But you know what? 50 fruits off of a really tasty variety that is Col de Don Blanc. Col de Don Blanc is my favorite variety for sure. I mean, it has a really nice flavor, but the texture is really what separates this fig from other figs. The only thing that even comes close to the texture of this is my white Triana. And the, what I mean by the texture is that this fig has a really thick, gooey, jammy, 
texture that's very close to jam. It's so thick, it's almost like eating a fig cake. Like it's some kind of a pastry. It's so, so good. And all the Col de Doms, by the way, Col de Dom Noir, Col de Dom, um, what's the other one? Col de Dom Grease, Col de Dom Ramada, they all have that same texture. They all have very little seeds. When we talk about acnes, the seeds are what actually will determine the amount of acnes. The more female parts that then produce that seed within the fig, within the synconium of the fig, the better off you are. The, the less you have, the more jammy, the more thick and gooey the texture will be. And the coldedoms are renowned for having very few acnes within the fruit. But we could talk about that as this fruit ripens when we actually get to pick it, but we're looking at about 50, over 50 fruits by August 1st. Today is um, May 2nd, so definitely by, I would say, sometime around August 1st, 90 days from today, we are very close to getting our first fruit. You can see which would be this one back in here. Most likely that's going to be the most developed. Um, and then what's going to happen, I would say, over the next couple weeks, um, this tree is going to continue to grow. Uh, we have tips over here, which we have not pinched. But since we pinched a few of the branches here, even just one of the branches, this is kind of sending a signal throughout the tree that it's time to fruit. So even on the branches that we didn't pinch, like this one here, this guy down here, also this, this uh, thinner branch over here, and then all of these on this section of the tree, all these are gonna continue to continue to grow. And then also, believe it or not, because not just when we pinch do we form fruits, but we form new branches. So when the new branches come out, we get a decent amount of new growth over the next month or so. We're gonna come in here again, and we're gonna pinch this tree sometime in early June. So a month from now, we're gonna pinch this again and we're gonna get a second crop of fruits. And that's kind of the objective, is to get as many fruits on this tree that we can, obviously to eat, but also to slow down the growth, to stop the growth almost completely. And when we stop that growth completely, we wanna do that well into the fall. And if we can do that well into the fall, this tree is gonna really stop growing and it's gonna lignify well, it's gonna be ready for dormancy well, and it's just a really nice cycle of what we wanna do with our trees. So this is the beginning of the year. This is kind of what the tree looks like right now, but it'll be interesting to see, and I'm kind of telling you what's gonna happen as we progress through the season as to what our goal is with these trees. We, we get all this nice growth. Hopefully we thin out a lot of the branches once the tree becomes awake. We get all this nice growth and then sometime in June, maybe even May or even July, depending on where you guys live, you pinch off these tips, it forms the fruit. And then hopefully that fruit load is so high that the tree stops actually growing. We, we stop our fertilizer sometime in August. The tree will, will stop growth and uh, we can then have a really nice, easy dormancy process or transition into dormancy process late in October and in November um, when temperatures really have started to cool down and these trees can uh, be put away for the winter time. So that is kind of the video here guys. I know this was a bit long. We just looked at this one tree but I've been amazed at the form. I wanted to show you guys this. It's just so important and I, I'm really excited. I mean that's really why also I'm making this video is that this fig variety is so good that um, not only am I gonna have a lot of them, but I'm gonna have a lot of them very early in the season. August 1st for a Col de Dom, it's a very late fig. And I don't really recommend this fig to a lot of you guys in colder climates or shorter season climates, because you really just need a greenhouse to get this one to ripen. But the fact that I am able to get this here is only because of my greenhouse. And it's, and it's also just amazing, it really is, because August 1st, eating this fig on August 1st is gonna be comparable to a lot of dry, hot climates. Um, the heat that we get here in August is actually quite high. So 
even though we are a bit cold in the winter time we do get warm here kind of like the southern half of the united states we do get pretty warm here so i'm very excited to see what this fruit or this fig is going to do for me in august because the few fruits i did get off off this tree last year was only in september and september compared to uh, august is a world of difference here in this climate um also we had tons of rain starting in september last year so if we can get a really dry august get a lot of these fruits to then do their thing um other varieties too like the sweet joy over here is now um putting out fruits the same thing is going to happen that this one's going to ripen by august 1st um even the strawberry verte you can see down in here these are the little figlets that are coming on right now which is really nice to see. In fact, we have two at this node, which is really cool. So a lot of these fruits are gonna do their thing very early for me this year. And we still have, I just wanna mention, I guess, before I let you guys go, we still have the very early varieties that didn't get a head start in the greenhouse, but they're getting a really nice start out here in this heat. April was amazing. Look at all this new growth. We're already looking at about four or five leaves on all these different limbs. I mean, obviously some are a bit further behind. You can see this is Planera. But um, yeah, a lot of these early varieties here that are just kind of just doing their thing, they're actually gonna fruit sometime in early August as well because if they are indeed an early variety, pinching them doesn't take 90 days. It maybe takes about 70 to 80. So we can start thinking about pinching these in the next two weeks. Um, and if I do in the next two weeks, you can bet that a lot of these guys are going to fruit um, by, all, by early August. So I'm really excited for this year. I wanted to share this all with you guys. We have lots of Braba, believe it or not, that's coming in as well. We're gonna have a really early season this year and it's, it's really fantastic. All right, guys. Take care. I got to get some more work done out here. I'll catch y'all soon.